Eden, are you okay? No, I'm not. When I just think about it, it just brings up a lot of emotions again. And then he just started like throwing out all over the place. And literally all of a sudden my vet is like, we're gonna bring Archie in and you're gonna go ahead and like say bye to him because he has to go to emergency surgery. Oh, no. And then they're giving me all this paperwork that's like, do you want us to resuscitate him? Like, oh my God, I have to make the decision. Sad. Right, you don't know if that's like the last time you're saying goodbye. Okay, what is this? I'm very Okay, there's something going on here. Oops. I'm supposed to hold this. <laughs> what did you say? I forgot. I'm supposed to hold this. You don't have a mic? No. You all got mics and I didn't get a mic. <laughs> okay. Are we supposed to start the episode or are you starting the episode? Welcome oh. to the oh. first episode of Sim. Wait. You guys didn't dress up? You didn't say no. to dress up. No, oh. I I wore my merch. <laughs> what this is, is it? kind of awkward. <laughs> what is going on? Okay, it's snazzy, though. Where'd that jacket come from? I found it in the prop closet. Ow! Hey, yo. I think technically that's my old jacket. <laughs> right. I would like to complain again that I don't have a microphone. Oh, mm. uh, this is there? unfair. This is unfair. Yeah, well, until we actually start um, making money from this experiment, <laughs> we are using the iPhone microphones. No, no, there's no we. I am using the iPhone. To be you very all clear. You have your own microphone. This in front of me is my personal investments. Okay, the mic is mine. The mic stand is mine. This is for hobby purposes. Okay, well, if, if it's a hobby purpose, then do you want to let the audience know what hobby that is? Yeah, it's music. Hey, yo! Cole's a singer. If you guys didn't know that, you should stream his music. It's pretty cool. Not to be like already be plugging, you know, other things, but yep. he, he do be a singer. I was talking to my dad about this the other day. Um, raise your hand if you've streamed my newest song more than once on your own accord. More than once? Oh! Like, I mean, oh! I, like, I, don't, I don't have it on my playlist. I, oh, no! Yo, what? Okay. Yo, wow! Wow! Wow. I would like to specify that I only listen to the music that Spotify curates for me. I am a day lister. I am a dj -er, I am rarely looking for my own music. I would like to specify I only listen to Taylor Swift. So if your name isn't Taylor <laughs> or Swift, it's not going to be on my well, playlist. But the day it came out, I did listen to it like three times. Okay. Good. Uh, That's I, okay. I listen. listened to it. When, especially your very first one, the Christmas one. Like I know that one a little too well. Sing it's it. only going to get better. Sing it's it. only going to get better. Yo, we're on limited time. Not we you, gotta Eden. Move up. She said she knew all, knew all the lyrics. Okay, so let's go over the basics. What is sibling therapy? Well, this is our second time we filmed this. The first <laughs> one was not very good. Oh, okay, wasn't that, that that good? It was that you made us stay in the circle. Yeah, that was <laughs> and good. We had to tape all of our iPhones to like yeah. broomsticks and stuff. Yeah. And you also deleted yeah, all the footage. Yeah, and then you deleted all the footage. So. Round two. So um, this is sibling therapy. Wait. Oh, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> oh, well, we can't edit it. This I is forgot. in. I forgot I'm not used to podcasts. Would you still consider this is what Gary said the last time? She said this was the purpose of this is the scories after dark. I don't know if that's the. That's what right Gabrielle said. I just said what I said. I, I, said. I think it's it's a good opportunity for us to reach like maybe some of our older audience that yeah. used to watch us and now is a little bit older because our videos still target kids on the scories. But you know, if we've been on YouTube for almost thirteen years at this point, you could say that this is the scories unfiltered. Yes, unfiltered, but not enough that we're gonna get demonetized. Off, uh, it's off a platform. Is it like after dark, like OnlyFans? <laughs> he <laughs> I'm just saying. It works. <laughs> <siblings>. <laughs> Of After Dark, I think of like for Big Brother, how like it's like Big Brother After Dark. That's what they would always say yeah, when it's right. like after the live but, streams. But Eden is right. We don't want to use that word associated yeah. with our podcast. Right. I think after that's hours. Yeah. The raw, the real deal. <laughs> yeah. See just, the emotion. Okay. What rating do we want to keep it? Like I feel like PG, PG 13, 13, 13. I think is so good. So if you are 13, you are allowed to watch this. But if you're younger than 13, maybe six. Six. You just have to ask. Yes. Like I think you can still watch it. You just have to like. Yeah. You have to ask when you watch. A PG-13 movie? Dude, yes, mom made me leave sleepovers if they were watching a PG-13 PG movie. PG-13 movies yeah. back then were kind of crazy. Whose phone no. is on? What is happening? That was, that shame, was mom. shame, shame. Speaking mom. of. <laughs> Speaking of mom. Um, okay, what, what can they expect? Oh, wait, guys. Okay, yeah. We have a letter. Yeah. 
We have our first fan mail for the <laughs> from who from the for the, the sibling therapy. Wait, podcast. we didn't even like introduce ourselves or like say anything <laughs> about our names or ages. Open the fan mail. I'll open it. This feels like a snake's gonna jump out. Whoa. Okay, it says from uh oh wait to the scories uh from just random company name one two three address it says dear scory siblings welcome to the wild world of podcasting where the only thing more plentiful than opinions are podcasts themselves we're thrilled to have you join the ranks of the 3.2 million and counting podcasters who are boldly treading the well-worn path of social media trends uh yeah we were a little late yeah we're, just a little bit. technically we were early because Gabrielle and I had a podcast back in the day. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe we'll save Insert that for another. Clip <laughs> we do from not. The Daily we, we don't have any clips. Era 2000. Uh, and stop. No, I was older than 2000. That was like 13. 2000. You're now officially part of a community where everyone is a unique snowflake, except when we're all falling down to the same avalanche of content. Wah, wah. But fear oh. not. <laughs> <laughs> well, you may not be breaking any new ground. You're certainly adding your own flair to the mix. Oh, he said add a sprinkle. Sparkle. A it, was, sprinkle. it was Salt Bay. Oh, a little fairy dust. Just remember, in the vast sea of voices, it's not about being original. It's about being authentically you. So grab that microphone, embrace the chaos, and let's see where this crazy podcasting journey takes you. Here's, Huzzah! Here's to many laughs. <laughs> Thoughtful insights and maybe even a few rival. Oh, sorry, a few viral <laughs> moments. Oh, they're probably well, maybe some, some rivalry. Viral. Let's yeah, be honest. I mean, we like some viral moments Here's, and 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 rival moments. Yeah. Here's your friends at YouTube. Oh, wow. YouTube themselves sent that. That was so nice of them. Hey, <laughs> YouTube really said like we've just been waiting for the scories to get on the podcast game. Well, you know what, YouTube, I got news for you, baby girl. We're here. And, and what's the podcast name? It is called Sibling, Sibling Therapy. Therapy. Cole, take us away with the theme song. Sibling Therapy. Oh, it's Jazzy. Sibling Therapy. Oh. Mm. That was great. Okay, we'll Thank workshop you. that. Well, speaking of sibling therapy, um, it's not sibling therapy unless we talk about some of our issues. So I would like to open up okay. the floor. I'm ready. For oh. some transgression. Okay, Gabriel, give me your mic. You're a little louder than I anticipated. So we're going to lower the volume on this bad boy. <laughs> I can see it peaking from all the way over here. Yeah, you know whose isn't peaking? Mine, because I've got like the calm mellow podcast vibe mm -hmm. it's like it's giving like sit down at the end of the day talk to a friend and then gabrielle she she's got like the the extrovert friend energy she's got the here's the story energy you so know, i don't know how to change down. this you want to start this rivalry right now just hold it further away from your face but um i think it would be fun to talk about our transgressions against each other okay can i go first yeah, this is okay. going to be an open floor concept. Yeah, Tyler, explain. Let's, let's explain the rules. So every time we start the podcast, we each get to bring one issue, one issue only about one other sibling. Okay? okay. They will get a chance and we, we have to try to keep it brief, like a minute to explain the situation. This could be from last week. It could be something from even longer ago. The other person gets one chance to respond without them interjecting. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So and everyone this gets is a chance. The no talking over. Yes, yes. Yes. This is also a safe zone. Okay. So nobody can get offended. Mm. And then afterwards, the remaining two people get to decide who is right. Oh. Right. Okay. Okay. Gabrielle, you're going first. <sighs> All right. This is something that's one of my wine. This is something. Oh wait, I forgot. We can't edit it out. Wop wop. Wop wop. Wop wop. Wop wop. Wop wop. I am so used to be able to do second takes. Okay, so this is something that has been on my mind for a little bit. Are you want to say it one more time? There's. That wasn't a good take. There are no second takes. Go! <laughs> <laughs> oh, stop it! That's not nice. <laughs> this is something that has been on my mind. Don't make me train change my thing to you because this is about Eden. But I will <gasps> make it about you so quickly. <gasps> Mine's also about Eden. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should I be about Aiden too? Guys! <laughs> okay, let me get on with it, please. Okay, okay, okay. So, we are YouTubers. We have been filming videos for 12 plus years now. Part of filming videos is holding the camera. And I feel like out of all of us... Mm, I see where this is going. Whenever we ask Eden to hold the camera for a shot, she is so reluctant 
to do so. I'm like, dizzy. My arm hurts. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm not. Take out interjections. It is not your turn to speak. I am just saying when it comes to it, it's it. She's the one who always gives pushback of like, we'll like literally hold out the camera to her and she like puts her arms down and like looks away from us. And I just feel like it's kind of annoying sometimes that she doesn't offer to hold the cameras or like she won't take initiative and hold okay, the camera. Okay, okay. So yeah. Point yeah. I think that was like okay. way more than a minute if I'm being so real. Respond and remember, yeah. okay. you know, interjecting. First of all, oh, I might be in heart failure right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, oh, well, this is news to everyone. <laughs> Elaborate. Yeah, so for you, Elaborate. So for you to come in here yeah. with the whole, like, oh, she doesn't even hold the camera. Like, girl, I don't even know if uh, I'm a B. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, okay. This is news to I'm all kidding. of us. I'm kidding. So anyway, yes. no, it's, it's a joke. He's trying to get up. the sob story votes from no. the audience. I will say, I do have wrist problems, and that is not new news. My wrists, oh! <laughs> they stick out like Wait, this. Are we going to close up on that? <laughs> yeah, let me do this one. So like my wrists stick out. So I actually have, oh, okay, wow. I actually this have is maybe above PG-13. A, a medical term for oh. it, but it makes it hard to hold it. Or when I exercise or lift weights, it's very hard to keep like my wrist straight. So when I try to vlog, it's very heavy. And also I am the smallest score. 10 seconds. So therefore, I think that the people that are maybe a little taller and stronger than me, because I will fully admit that I am not the strongest scory, that they should be okay, okay. holding the camera. And time. Okay. Not gonna cool. lie, you were going out for so long, I forgot you were still defending yourself. <laughs> I thought you were just talking about your wrists at that point. Uh, I have a clear winner. I'm just gonna say, in this situation, I agree with Ethan. Because I will say, having edited oh. some of the videos, <laughs> One, it's annoying when Eden films because she's so short that it points up at all of her face. And two, I also have vlogger shoulder and it hurts my shoulder. Vlogger well, shoulder. Even though you were like, hold the camera and point at it. Well, who do you go with? Um, I think Gabriella may be in the right. Like, I just think it would be nice if she's like, hey, I could, but it will look like freaking the Munchkins from Munchkinland are recording. <laughs> Okay, I will try to be a little more explanatory about Thank it. Thank you. Yeah. Ultimately, okay. you guys let us know in the comments who you side with. Maybe no one will comment. Maybe no one will see this. I think we should also do one person per episode because it is also, uh, we, we are running, we have okay, 10 okay. minutes left. Okay, fine. And that would be the entire podcast. I feel like if we no. all were grieving <laughs> against each other. I'll say mine. I'll well, say mine. I will say, Gabriel, this is a podcast and we can't stuff out, but we also can't speed things up because you can just speak a little faster next time for your story maybe we could have put two in there. shots fired i feel like eventually we need like a little board for like sound effects i was thinking <laughs> that too oh, like, yeah. wah, wah. and we also need musical transitions between segments oh, okay. yeah wow. live orchestra you gotta yeah. think the big picture oh um, let's get let's get personal oh mm -hmm. we're gonna go to the next level of our audience relationship and talk about things that we can't in the video are we, are we going to say your names? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> rapid fire. And, yeah. and a fun fact about you that you normally wouldn't be able to say on the scories because it's unfiltered. Can you go first? Okay. My name is Eden and I'm not actually dying of cardiac <laughs> arrest. I just have heart issues and a lot yeah, of other she, issues. Yeah. And she's the youngest. Yeah. And I'm the youngest and the favorite. <laughs> None of that was unfiltered. You get through something about you know, your wild weekend. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm, your turn. <laughs> um, my name is Cole. I am the funniest Scory. And, um... The guy ah, with the leave me alone! <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm trying to think of a... I'm, like, kind of, like... I'm innocent. I don't have any unfiltered things about me. You're, you're... Uh, except the time that you screamed at a lady while we were volunteering for vaccines. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, that. We have an ongoing list of people Cole has genuinely almost started fights with. Yeah. And by started, I mean started fights and like I had to like de-escalate I it. could get a little prickly sometimes. Cole is the middle child. I'm passionate. Uh, okay, my name is Tyler. Uh, I'm the oldest. Yeah. Hi, I am the oldest. <laughs> I'm the leader of the pack. And, um... I guess the fun fact is I live the closest to the studio. 
Oh. That was so not on fire. I was yeah. not really that fun of a fact. Yeah, really, you say, you say a good one or I'll say one for you. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm Gabriella. I am, I guess, also kind of the middle child, too, because, like, there's obviously two of us in the middle, me and Cole. Uh, and my fun but fact... You, you don't give off middle energy. Like, no, that's because I'm the oldest daughter. Yeah, she's right? going fun fact. Sorry, she's okay. going fun fact. Okay, sorry. Yeah, oldest daughters are different in, like, the stacking order. But, anyway... <laughs> like, Maybe we'll talk about that. We'll talk about that. Okay, this. her fun fact is that she's got a boo thing and is serious. <laughs> That is true. That and we is true. we've seen him kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Ow! <laughs> All right. Uh, All right. Do we have another segment? Or yeah, no? we do. We do. And then Gabriel interrupted me for the name. We didn't introduce ourselves! Uh, if someone were to click on this podcast for the first time and not know who we are, we are literally like 10 to 15 minutes into the podcast and we have not said our name. Okay, so Eden also... She mentioned that she almost died. I did. Her child almost died as well. He did, almost did. Um, like mother, like son. <laughs> yeah. Eden's dog. It's a doodle. Nuff said. <laughs> it, was, it was an emotional ride. Eden, take it away. What happened? Oh, okay. If you could um, cry, that'd be great. <laughs> this is also going to be the teaser, so make it good. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, Eden, are you okay? What? Are you good? <laughs> oh, yeah. No, I'm not. When I just think about it, it just... Brings up a lot of emotions again. Okay, was that good for the trip? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, so I have a doodle. He's three years old. His name is Archie. Mommy loves him. He's so cute. He's not watching. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know what he does in his free time. Yeah, Loki, he does watch TikToks with me. Put this head on my pillow. Anyways, so I have two dogs. So this is my most, like, new... He's my new dog. And I've never had, like, a big dog or, like, a dog that actually chews on things so everyone always kind of warned me they're like oh doodles this doodles that they eat things now listen archie boy he does eat a lot of stuff i will give him that but he always either like not to be weird but throws it up or passes it so i wasn't and worried when you about say it pass when you say pass like he poops it out Eating. <laughs> but it's unfiltered okay <laughs> he poops out <laughs> the stuff so i wasn't worried about it and basically one day he woke up and I noticed that he was like acting kind of like lethargic, a little sick. Um, and then he just started like throwing yacking. up. Yeah, just yakking all over the place. And I was like, that's not normal. So we go the day he keeps, you know, doing his thing every couple hours throwing up. And I'm like, whatever, let's monitor it. Wait, so you did whatever to your dog throwing up? <laughs> Well, again, it was like, I couldn't tell if it was like he ate something. I don't know. So I was like, let's wait another day. I was very much like, give a 24 hours thing, you know, because he also seemed fine. His mood was okay. Uh, I'd like to point out that this is the exact same thing Eden give our, give, gives our mom say that. flag for when she was a kid. She said, I would have issues in my mom's like, let's see what happens. The difference is a dog can't talk and I am making my judgments off of his mood versus me being 12 being like I think my ankle is broken and that was also two weeks not 24 hours we do that so they won't pack in the next episode I'll anyway RG had been sick for a while I finally take him to the vet and they do an x-ray and they tell me that he's got a sock lodged in his stomach that is stuck. and not just like a little sock but like a hiking sock like a big thick wool sock yeah it was it was pretty big so um immediately i was like oh my gosh this is crazy what i do so they were like we're gonna try to wait it out if you say that he passes it sometimes like let's check it tomorrow so i go back into the vet the next day thinking that we're just doing like another x-ray uh, x-ray and then like a little routine and literally all of a sudden my vet is like we're gonna bring archie in and you're gonna go ahead and like say bye to him because he has to go to emergency surgery <laughs> Say and I was is, like, that the, is that the, 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 the wording that they <laughs> used? They said that to you. They said you're gonna have to say goodbye well, to no, Archie. Well, no, technically, I, I knew we probably wanted it for the teaser. So I was like, <laughs> she technically was like, he needs emergency surgery, Time so we'll to say bring bye. him back in. Yeah, to say bye to you. So they literally bring poor little Archie in, and we have photos. If you, I'll be dramatic and insert all the photos of him. Um, and then they literally just took him to emergency surgery. And let me tell you, that little doggy 
And the he, surgery was very invasive. It was, yes, it was very invasive. They got it caught into his stomach and into his intestines. And then, like, pulled the sock out. Oh, tell him about the sock they gave you. you well, didn't ask I asked for the, for the sock. sock back. Washed it and wore it? <laughs> <laughs> Are they those socks? No. I wanted to figure out what sock it was that he this ate. This is kind of gross. So uh, the bag that they gave her has yeah, been, like, sitting in his stomach for, like, Literally, like oh, four days. She literally sent it with no warning. She's like, "This is what was in Archie's stomach," and literally sends the most disgusting, guts-filled picture. What did you do with the sock? Well, for, I I had to leave it outside because it smelled so <laughs> bad. No, I'm gonna literally throw up. I think we're done talking about this. She said she was looking at it, and then she said she got a whiff of it, and like, like I literally yeah. like, yeah. Yeah. Like, yes, stop. Oh God. Okay, we're done. Uh, Moving on, Archie's okay, everything's fine. Archie's a little more context. Plug your ears, this is gross. I'm fucking my ears. It was like, the sock was like black, and it was like disintegrating from the stomach, trying to decompose it. Yeah, it was pretty crazy, I'm not gonna lie. But anyways, the sock is out, Archie's good, he's recovered, and um, let me tell you that that little doodle cost me an arm and a leg, cause that surgery was crazy. Is there ever a point where you were scared or were the whole time where you're like, no, nah, I definitely was scared. I think when I think when I dropped him off, like it actually I hit me. Just dropped him. <laughs> <laughs> no, when I dropped him off, I was like, like when I left the vet office, and it was just like sad. Wait, you don't know if that's like oh. the last time you're saying goodbye. I mean, it is like he was under like anesthetic, so again, like you legitimately don't know. And then they're giving me all this paperwork that's like, do you want us to resuscitate him? <gasps> like, they if something that. happens, yeah, because you have to consent to that. And I was like literally in the vet office, like again, I'm like 23, so I'm like in the vet office with like I'm all this paperwork, goal. and I'm like, oh my god, I have to make the decision because then also I have friends that are vets, and they low key say that it's like really hard on your dog if you resuscitate them. So I was like in the office, literally like trying to make a decision on like whether or not to resuscitate my dog. Uh, like I mentioned, um, we were very nice eating the whole time. Yeah. We asked if she needed someone. She wasn't. There. No, I'm very um, much. I'm because... like I'm like a private coper. Yeah, I like to just she like. Cries by herself. Let's we'll to dig into that. Um, I think I'll let my therapist deal. <laughs> Should we bring your therapist on the podcast? <gasps> yeah. Stop. The way she would eat that up, Loki. <laughs> like she would. I told Cole because Cole was like, "Why were you late? Like coming over from therapy yesterday?" And I was like, "Well, like Loki, we kind of talked about the Bachelor for like ten minutes into <laughs> my session." <laughs> And Hopefully like, you were paying her for I that. Know, and then she was like, she felt bad, so she went over the 10 minutes, and I was like, That's nice. you're, you're real. Least, you're that real is for nice. that. You're self-aware enough to be like, hey, I costed you a coin. Um, let me help you out a little more. Yeah, so shout out to my therapist. If you need therapy, you should get therapy. It's great. This episode was sponsored by Better Health. <laughs> I wish. That would, what, be is, what that would, would be a good sponsor. Honestly, okay, wait, quickly before we end, crazy. everyone list their ideal sponsor for a podcast just so we can manifest it. Audible, because then I'd get free books. Oh, <laughs> that one's good. Audible would be good. I would like one of the food ones, like purple carrots. So oh. I can get food food. Yeah, because we're vegan sponsors. So. Yeah, okay. Uh, <laughs> I was like, do they just start this podcast? Okay. Get sponsors. Mine would be like uh, Tesla, so we could get Tesla. Well, you already yeah, have a Tesla, good. but yeah. so the rest of us could get Tesla. I think legitimately probably better help just because I'm like, I'm in my like therapy. I'm in my self-love club <laughs> era. Like I'm really on my push for mental health and stuff. Mm, yeah. So uh, I, I want to like dive into that more. We're, we're big. We, we call this sibling therapy, but we are all our, but we are all. <laughs> Gabrielle, we can't that edit is- anything. Get better at speaking, please. She, she the really tried. The world was Eden's story was a little long. She could have like definitely been a little more efficient with her storytelling. But we'll get better. I promise. I promise we'll get better. Oh, and it was so mean. Mad. Is that your grip about me? Yes. <laughs> Next time. I, I was going to say that all of the square siblings are in therapy, and I'm going to talk about how many were in therapy. Listen, if there's no one around to make sure that people are getting better... <laughs> Also, I'd like to add um, on the topic of this really quick. Cole literally calls me and he goes, did you bring me up in therapy today? <laughs> I didn't call you to ask that. I was just curious if you called you because you're always so angry to come back in the morning for like no reason. And then I was like, it seems like you had some baggage. So I was like, hey, did you talk about me in therapy? I'm just curious. I literally said it and I was like, babes, as if you think that you are feeling up my face. what you talked about. You did. You did talk about me in therapy. And I was like, 
let me know if you want to tell me what you talked about because it could be helpful for me to know so I can avoid doing those things. That makes that's you upset. Like, uh, uh, oh, that seems like a that was, dangerous place to be. I, what? No, I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be a better brother and a better person. No, it was appreciated. And then I was like, sure, let's talk. Which talk about? She didn't. She said that she needs to go into more sessions to open up more, right? Something like that. I don't know. Okay. Well, I think we end it here. Yeah. How long was that? A while. It's 3.47. I think well, I can give you the exact time. That was... We did. We have to stop. So it's been like 25 minutes. Yeah, because Tyler has to go to therapy. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this was a great first sibling therapy. You guys, comment down below um, what the- else we should talk about. Yeah, give us topic <laughs> okay. ideas. There give us- I'm just going to give a we'll teaser. I had some topics, so oh. maybe we'll go over these for next time. But the teasers, we were going to do a little... Um, Sibling superlatives. Uh, what? We're gonna what? Take, um, Girl. <laughs> what does that mean? Rewind. Like, most Rewind. likely to. Rewind. So, first, firstly, Eden is dyslexic, so big words are hard. <laughs> I had confession sessions, our future oh. forecast to see, like, where we predicted we were going to be in 10 years. Oh. Stuff like that. Uh, okay. Which is the better generation. <laughs> <laughs> Not you. Not you. Not yeah, me. You. I, I, was, me. I was asking a question. Like, we don't know the answers to the heart yet, okay? You cannot be Stay throwing tuned. around the 